Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jocelyn and for today's topic, I'm going to provide you the latest update at the U.S. Embassy in Manila. But before we get started, please like this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because of the COVID surge, there is now a cancellation of interviews for B1, B2 first-time applicants. The U.S. Embassy in the Philippines has canceled non-immigrant B1, B2 business or tourist visa interview appointments scheduled through January 31st of 2022 in response to the recent sharp increase in COVID-19 infections in the country and the continued significant worldwide challenges related to the pandemic. Applicants can only reschedule their canceled visa interview once routine business and tourism visa services resume by contacting the embassy call center or you can do it through the online appointment system. There is no need to contact the U.S. Embassy at this time. There is no fee to change the appointment and your visa fee is valid until September 30 of 2023. I'm also going to provide updates for K-1 visa applicants and also visa wait times for non-immigrant visas. For those asking about K-1 visa processing times, here are the latest update. For those who are asking about the interview schedule for K-1 visa applicants, the cases being scheduled for interviews are those documentarily complete by July of 2021. For those who are asking about the USCIS processing for Petition 129F for K-1 visas, here is the processing time. For those who are planning to file a Petition 129F or those who have filed their Petition 129F for their alien fiancés, you can check the processing times here at the USCIS website. Let's check the California Service Center. For California Service Center, the processing time shows the receipt date is April 7 of 2021. So it's mostly within 7 to 9.5 months or less than a year. Now, there is a receipt date for a case inquiry. If your receipt date is before April 7, 2021, you can submit an outside normal processing time service request online. So click on that link and it will show you the different reasons for the outside normal processing time or the reasons for the case inquiry. You can click on case outside normal processing time if you think that your case is being processed too long. And it shows here that the cases are being processed in the past 60 days. If you received a notice or responded to a request for evidence or received an online update to your case status, the normal processing time is actually six months from filing of the petition. So you will need, if you wanted to inquire your receipt number, a number, date when filed, application or petition filed, and email address. Let's check on the other field office or service center for the petition I-29F. For Nebraska service center, here is the processing time for the petition. For K3 or K4, it's five to seven months and the receipt date is June 11 of 2021. This is only for derivative or for dependents of K visa applicants. For Potomac, the processing time is 3.5 months up to seven months for K3 and K4 and it's still June 11 of 2021. And for Texas Service Center, here is the processing time. Four to seven months for K3. And then for Vermont Service Center, 
here is the processing time. There are no more K-1 visa processing time for these service centers. It's so it's only California. If you are not aware, there are interview waivers for certain non-immigrant visas and immigrant visas. Now let's start with the expansion of interview waiver eligibility for certain non-immigrant visa applicants. The Department of State has extended the expiration period requirement for interview waiver for B1, B2, and F, M, and J non-immigrant visas to 48 months until further notice. This policy is applicable for applicants renewing their non-immigrant visa in the same classification. So if you are renewing your tourist visa, if it has an expiration within 48 months, you can renew it without appearing for an interview. Also for first-time applicants and renewals of F, M, and J visas, you can apply or renew these visas without also appearing for an interview. Now, if you are availing of this interview waiver, you must use the drop box for LBC starting January 3, 2022. Now, there is a change in the document delivery carrier starting January 3, 2022. An important announcement from the U.S. Embassy in Manila regarding the change of document delivery provider. Starting January 3, 2022, the U.S. Embassy will transition the document delivery services from Togo Express to LBC. Coinciding with the transition to LBC, we will implement premium drop-off pickup service in 99 branches of LBC. Now, there is a cost. The cost for dropping and picking up of documents in these 99 locations is 440 pesos. So please see the location of LBC branches in their website. Pick up drop off of passports and documents at the LBC branch in Mall of Asia will remain free of charge. They will, there will also be an increase in the premium delivery of documents to homes and offices and the cost will be 440 pesos. The Secretary of State, in consultation with the Department of Homeland Security, has authorized consular officers through the end of 2022 to waive the in-person interview requirements for certain temporary employment non-immigrant visa applicants who have a petition approved by the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. This new authorization applies to temporary workers applying for H-1 H3, H4, L, O, P, and Q visas who meet certain conditions including that they are applying for a visa in their country of nationality or residence. In addition, the Secretary extended previously approved policies to waive the visa interview for certain students, professors, research scholars, short-term scholars, or specialists. F, M, and Academic J visa applicants through the end of 2022. Now, there is another interview waiver for non-immigrant employment visa. The previous authority allowing for waiver of interview of certain H2 or temporary agricultural and non-agricultural workers applicants has also been extended through the end of 2022. Applicants renewing any visa within 48 months of expiration are also eligible for interview waivers. Another good news for immigrant visa applicants. Effective December 13, 2021 up to December 13, 2023, there is a waiver of personal appearance and interview requirements for certain immigrant visa applicants issued visas on or after August 4, 2019. For immigrant visa, the embassy is processing immigrant visas across all categories. However, with significant backlogs in most categories, wait times for interviews are lengthy, but immediate relatives, IR1 up to IR5, these are immediate relatives. It is not possible to provide precise wait times as facilities, staffing resources, and local conditions all affect capacity and scheduling. As of November 30, 2021, most IR or immediate relatives category visa cases being scheduled for interview were documentarily complete at the National Visa Center 
in October of 2021. So this is the cutoff date, October 2021 for IR visa cases from IR1 to IR5. Most K visa cases being scheduled were documentarily complete in July of 2021. So most current employment-based cases being scheduled were documentarily complete in January of 2020. And now for family preference cases for F1 up to F4, these are the status. Most current family preference cases were documentarily complete in June of 2019. Here are the priority travelers for non-immigrant visas. The embassy continues to prioritize travelers with urgent and temporary employment. Visa appointments for routine business and tourism or B1-B2, especially for those who are first-time applicants, they are available at significantly reduced levels. For the visa fee the embassy will extend the validity of your payment until september 30 2023 visa appointment wait times for non-immigrant visas at the u.s embassy in manila the all other non-immigrant visa wait time does not include k or visa applications because these are processed similar to immigrant visas for all of you who wanted to avail of the expedited non-immigrant visa appointments such as b1 b2 expedited appointments there are qualifications that needed to be met in order for you to be granted this expedited service so let me provide you the information when can you avail of this so not every reason for an expedited appointment will be granted there are specific conditions or situations where you can avail of this service now here are some of the examples and these are based on actual reasonings of first-time applicants If you think you are qualified for an expedited interview appointment, here is the procedure. First, you needed to submit the online visa application form, the S-160, pay the application fee, and schedule the first available interview appointment. Only at this point will a consular section consider your request for an expedited appointment. However, there are reasons that are not acceptable for an expedited appointment. First, attending weddings. Second, attending graduation ceremonies. Third, assisting pregnant relatives. Fourth, participating in annual business or academic or professional conference. And fifth, last minute to receive. There is a new January visa bulletin. These are the new priority dates for processing updates for family-sponsored visas under Philippines for F1, April 22, 2015, for F2A, October 1, 2021, and this has been changed from the December visa bulletin. So there was a movement in the F2A category for F2B, it's still the same, October 1st, 2013, F3, October 1st, 2003, and F4, February 1st, 2004. Now let me explain the priority dates. Applicants for immigrant visas who have a priority date earlier than the application date in the chart. So if your application date is before april 22nd 2015 for f1 
You may now assemble and submit the required documents following receipt of notification from the National Visa Center containing detailed instructions. So it means that you will have to wait for a notice from the National Visa Center before submitting the documents. But in the meantime, you may assemble all the documents required. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.